guys, we're back at Lagoon. Just got here just a few minutes ago and the lights are already on. It's pretty awesome. There is a rare occurrence of what happened at the handstand booth. Check this out. Check this out. It's an actual legible stamp. Let's head on into the beer garden because Spencer has noticed that they now have glass beer steins. He loves to collect beer steins. It's pretty cool. He has an awesome collection. Look at this place at night. I've never been here when like all the lights are on. It's pretty cool. Check that out guys. A lagoon beer garden glass beer stein. How do you feel about that Spencer? This thing is heavy. Alright. Now let's head into Pioneer Village because they close pretty soon. They close an hour earlier before the rest of the park. Alright guys, so it's very, very dark here, so I'm gonna get up to this light. Oh there we go. Now I'm here on Saturday. It's two more days until the normal operating season is completely over and they, they go to weekends. Uh, I think, yeah, tonight, I think tonight is the last night they're open until 11. I may be wrong on that, let me know. What time do they close on Sunday nights during the normal operating season? Is it 10 or is it 11? But anyway, Monday, they, Monday night they close at 6. So we're here getting in our last looks because I don't think I'll be able to make it here tomorrow because it's my mom's birthday tomorrow and I want to kind of make it a special day for her. So we're here with our, taking our last looks around Pioneer Village. I'm just getting run over by wagons and saying goodbye for now to our little buddy Dexter. I still think salads taste like I'd rather be fat. I'm going to make the salads without all the gross lettuce and junk in there. Just like have like the the meat and the croutons and the dressing. Because then they would they wouldn't be solid, it'd be soup basically. Oh my gosh you guys, you can get to see a celebrity sighting. Donny Osmond's here. Check this out. Excuse me Donny. What was it like being on the mass singer? Come on, you, you, you can talk about it now, the season's over. No comment? Oh well. Alright guys, now we're in the back of Penry Village by the Ministry Museum. I'm going to say goodbye to our buddy Dexter. Now, what I want to do, I seriously want to do, after Pioneer Village is closed, at least and all the guests are out, I want to come in here and do a full-on paranormal investigation with all the dolls in here. All right, Dexter, buddy. This is the last time I can see you until Frightmare starts. So, yeah. Been a good, long, awesome season. Thank you for the lesson you taught me and Spencer. Thank you, thank you. I'll see you in, during Frightmares. So guys, before I get too silhouetted, we're gonna go to that one spot in the back corner here at Pioneer, Pioneer Village and see what the vibe is like. All right, guys. Here we Oh boy, guys. Uh-uh. Chills just like the Anson Call House. I'm telling you. We didn't even get up here yet. Full on chills. Holy cow. You know what I think we should do? I think we should do an EVP session right now. Hey guys, here we go. Starting the recorder. Is there anybody in here, in this enclosure area, that wants to talk to us? We felt you, we, even before we got up here. Is there anything you want to tell us? All you have to do is talk to this lit screen in his hand. Did you fall over this ledge and drown in the river? Did you die here before Lagoon was built? Okay, let's play that back. Okay, guys, let's play it back and see what we got. 
Is there anybody in here in this enclosure area that wants to talk to us? We felt you even before we got up here. Is there anything you want to tell us? All you have to do is talk to this lit screen in his hand. Did you fall over this ledge and drown in the river? Did you die here before Lagoon was built? Let's play that back. No, nothing guys. I'm telling you, there's definitely something here. It's crazy, crazy active here at night. I don't know if anybody from Lagoon watches this, but yeah, I would love to do a full-on investigation at a couple of places in here. One being like right in here, and the other one being the train museum, the miniature museum, the gingerbread house especially, and maybe the gel and the rock chapel. That would be amazing, amazing if that could happen. Let me know. You know what, guys? I think I'm going to go down into the gel cell with it this dark. What do you guys think? Let's go for it, huh? Here we go, you guys. Oh boy, that is a darkness that no one can describe. Let's turn on the flashlight so I can go down here. Oh, I'll show you what if something jumps out of one of these cells. I am going to scream so loud. Not a cool place to be at night. Now I have heard in one of these cells there is a handprint that would not wash off. I don't know if that's true or not. But I believe it was in one of the locked ones. But yeah. They used to keep actual people in here that were disorderly or disruptive back in the day. Like back when the Bamberger Railroad was still going. Yeah, so back when the Bamberger Railroad was still going, Disorderly people and people who are intoxicated, causing a big commotion, were stuck in that jail cell overnight and then put on the Bamberger Railway the next morning and let off property. You guys, what, what's Spencer doing here? What's he doing? He's a peeping Tom. I'm not Tom, I'm Spencer. So you guys look back at my, I think it's one of my Frightmares videos, I believe one of my Frightmares videos. You can hear Spencer's story about this washing pot and his pretty scary encounter with it. Guys, I truly am a Disney freak. First thing I thought of when I saw this spinning wheel was Sleeping Beauty. You already remember the curse that Maleficent put on baby Aurora. Poor innocent baby Aurora. Being punished because her parents did not invite Maleficent to the party. Said that on her 16th birthday before the sunset, 
so you would prick your finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel and die. Right guys, so another one of my videos here in Pioneer Village, I reference the ghost, the ghost stories about this place. And if what the stories are, if they're true about the wedding that was here, how awesome would it be to be in here and see that? Not just see it, hear it. It'd be really, really cool. All right guys, now I think it's time for us to leave this extremely, extremely haunted village for the last time before it turns in to the scare zone. I might be back before then, but probably next time I come back, all of this will be, I don't even know if you can see my hand or not, my little vlogger hand, yeah. Anyway, all of this will be fenced off to make way for the scare zone. All right guys, we see if any more preparations have been done to the Pine Terrace and the Maple Terrace to make way for night walk. Oh yeah guys, night walk walls are up. Check it out. All right guys, looks like we can't go through that way. Let's go along the side. All right guys, here's the Pine Terrace, just the other portion of night walk. Just, just over that way, if it's like last year, this right here will be the entrance for the fast pass, the time warp fast pass. Sorry if you can't really see that much, it's extremely dark here in some places. You know, it's just getting close to Frightmare, so dark is good. They do have the gates up for night walk. I love these gates. There they are, the gates for night walk. Now this is one of the bigger haunted houses they have here at Lagoon. It takes up this like entire uh, pavilion plus the outside and the connecting pavilion behind it. It's pretty, pretty huge. Like I said, I don't know why, but every time I come out of night walk and we come out, we're like right about in here, I'm right here, and I like disorient, like yeah, disorientation is weird. But guys, thinking, speaking about the time warp fast pass, they have the sign for it right here. Check that out, time warp fast pass. Ooh, a five All of this one's spider. a five spider scare this year. I think last year, the level of mansion was only a four spider scare. Let's see what they did different this year. Guess we'll have to find out. And this building right here is where you get the time warp fast pass. Right here at the picnic basket. I don't know if Yogi or Boo Boo would like that very much, but that's where you get it. You can also get them at uh, guest services at the front of the park. Speaking of spider scares, guys, look at this. That's a sick spider scare right there. Look at that. A sick spider oh, scare. Down. Oh boy. I can't wait for this thing to come back this year. Seance is amazing. I mean, the stuff that they do in there, the, I don't know, the lighting, the whole theme of the show is up to Disney standards. It's pretty cool. And this guy right here has been keeping an eye on the Seance house all season. Good job, buddy. Right guys, right here at the interactive fountain, Across the way at Whack-A-Mole, on top, there's uh, a weather cam that points directly at the fountain. I believe it takes a picture every half hour. Let's see if we can stand here. I want to stand here. See if it takes the picture right as we're here. You see the camera right up there. That's the camera that focuses in on the fountain here. Take that back, guys. It takes a picture every hour, and it just took one 15 minutes ago. I don't really feel like standing here for 45 minutes. Now I can't wait to see what they transform the carousel stage into for Frightmares. I wonder if they're going to have, still have the, the skull chandeliers 
in there. Guess we'll have to find out. I wonder if the, the shows will also be the same this, like this year as last year. Because they bring back Mariner. Oh wow, what an awesome, awesome show. That's something you don't see every day. Power, rock, power walking while doing the floss. Strange. So guys, that one building over here by the new chicken strip place that smelled like Frightmares. It's the new home of Speedball. Guys, this is too funny. The spider is back to becoming the Durr. There we go. The Durr. I don't know what it is, but something about this ride is so incredibly wicked. Now there's something pretty amazing about all these signs and these fences. I really want to tell you about them. It's really awesome. But I think I'll save that for another video. Alright guys, tell me. How awesome would it be to have all the lamp lamps in here be gas powered? How awesome would it be to have all these lamps right here? Obviously not the, not the hanging ones obviously, but the tall ones right here and the ones on the entrance have all those gas powered. How awesome would it be, you know? It's like you just add to the whole ambiance of the beer garden. Spencer, what do you think the roller coaster entrance is? There it is. All right guys, so Spencer just pointed something out. All the newer rides here at Lagoon on the, the safety board they have the amount of tickets that it takes to ride that ride. As far as I'm aware, the goodness doesn't sell the, the ride tickets anymore. They used to, when I, when I worked here, they still did. But as far as I'm aware, they don't sell those anymore. So why is the amount of tickets still on the safety board? Right now, I'm going to kick it back up to Pioneer's Village because I think it's time that we should be going. Well, guys, I think it's time that we wrap up another video here at Lagoon. So if you like this video, make sure to click like, don't forget to share. If you want to subscribe, click the icon up in the corner, other corner will be links to other videos. Make sure to check out all the links in the description below. Patreon.com helps keep the show on the road. I'll see you next time on another adventure.